Do you have any birthmarks? If so, where? I can't show y'all where my birthmark is. <laughs> I do have one though. No, I have a birthmark, but I can't show y'all where that birthmark is. Mm -mm. That'd be rated R. My video will get deleted. Bella B. Hey everyone, it's me, Bella B. And I've had my channel for about, what? nine months now started in january and i decided hey i finally should do a get to know me tag so that's what i'll be doing today i have my laptop <laughs> and i'm recording on my phone so that's why i can't use my phone but i have not looked at these questions so they will be 100 percent honest i promise okay question one what is your full name tatiana you will never know my middle name bill but my nickname is bella b um, I got that nickname in high school. Yeah, my freshman year. Um, a guy wanted to call me something different besides Tati or um, Todd. Yeah, so he was like, well, since your last name is Belle, I can call you Bella and you're beautiful. And I was like, oh, that's cute. So Bella kind of like stuck. And then I was like, well, my last name is Belle. So I'm going to just use the abbreviation, the letter B. So it's Bella B. That's where that came from. Are you named after anyone? I actually am. My mom got my name from Tatiana Ali from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. So whenever that show was, you know, in and popping, I was conceived. <laughs> and my mom was like, hey, I like that name. So that's where that came from. What does your name mean? I think it means fairy princess. I looked it up. It was like kind of popular to look up what your name meant like a few years back. So I looked mine up. Everybody had these beautiful, you know meanings for their names i look mine up fairy princess what anyway <laughs> where do you live i live in north carolina um i'm actually not afraid to say the city i live in lumberton but i am currently in college so i'm not in lumberton but yeah where were you born i was born in lumberton um which of your parents are you closest to I actually only have one living parent. My father died a month before I was born. So obviously I'm very, very close to my mom. I have no other choice but to be close to my mom. I can't be close to my dad. So yeah, I'm really, really close to my mom. That's like my best friend, my mom, my sister, all that in one. Um, what is your favorite drink? I love water or like carbonated waters because I don't drink soda. I haven't had a soda since 2011. So, I really like carbonated water or juice, but it has to be juice that's like natural. I don't like really sugary juices. Ugh. Mm -mm. What is your favorite food? Anything Italian. I probably would eat spaghetti five times a week if I could. But, yeah. Spaghetti is my favorite. What is your favorite holiday? Halloween. <laughs> Which is weird because growing up, I absolutely hated I hated scary stuff. I would only sleep with Disney Channel on around October because, you know, around October is when they have the scary movies coming out. So it'd be previews. And at night, if I wake up and see one, I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So, no. I absolutely hated scary, anything scary. I hate it. But now, I think to kind of get over my fear, I started watching scary movies and they're so predictable. I love them. So now I just, I can't stop watching them. What is your biggest regret? I actually don't have a big regret because everything that I've been through in life shaped me to the person who I am today. And I actually, now I can say that I genuinely do love myself and I love who I am. So no regrets this way, no regrets. Okay, um, are you a dog or per cat person? I love dogs, don't get me wrong. Cats are. I love animals, period. Like, I'll cry over an animal before I cry over a human. But dogs just, they speak to me. I love dogs. I want a doggy, actually. Rest in peace, doggy. My doggy shot. <sighs> okay. Um, what is your eye color? Y'all tell me. What's my eye color? I think it's dark brown. Nearly black. Some people tell me it's, like, really, really light brown at certain times depending on my mood but i don't know i can't see my own eyes it let the beautiful side what look at your pupils 
Well, how am I gonna look at my people? Well, do some stuff. Yeah, what are you taking? Huh? So, I don't know. Um, what is your favorite color? I love the color black and I love the color purple. Those are my two favorite colors. Um, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? I actually don't like ice cream. I'm one of those people. I'm a little picky when it comes to certain things. I don't I don't really like ice cream. Do you have any tattoos? I do not have any tattoos. I do want tattoos. I actually want my whole back tatted eventually one day. Whenever, you know, I'm settled in my career, whatever I got going on. And then I'll start getting tattoos. But I do have piercings. I have my tray is pierced. Um, of course, my lobe and my second hole <laughs> and then my uh what is that called Fort helix this one hurt y'all that piercing right there that piercing right there oh highlight is popping but yeah that piercing right there had me like actually like pain though so i don't really mind it do you have any allergies <coughs> absolutely that's probably why you hear me like sniffing and junk. Like, I really have bad allergies. I don't even know why. Um, do you have any birthmarks? If so, where? I can't show y'all where my birthmark is. <laughs> I do have one, though. No, I have a birthmark, but I can't show y'all where that birthmark is. Mm -mm. That'd be rated R. My video would get deleted. So, let's not do that. Um, when's the last time you cried? Probably like two days ago because I was being very emotional. I felt really bored and I felt really stagnant. I hate feeling stagnant in life and I just felt like I was stagnant. I feel like I won't go nowhere and I think that's why I cried. So, who is your role model? My role model is my mom because she really just, she overcame the odds. She beat the odds. She beat the statistics. She was a quote-unquote teen mom, even though she she was pregnant with me at the age of 19, had me at 20. She was a single parent. However, she still raised a child while going to school, while getting her education and graduating and becoming a nurse and just really pretty much proving everybody wrong and even proving herself wrong because when she didn't believe in herself, she still proved herself her naysayers, everyone wrong, and show that you can do it. So she is my role model. Whenever I feel like giving up, I'll just be like, my mom didn't give up, so why should I? So yeah, my mommy. I love my mommy. Um, What do you do for a living? I'm in school. <laughs> uh, I work at school, at my college, and I YouTube for a hobby, and I do makeup. Actually, you know what? Follow my Instagram page, Beat by Bella B, and I will be doing um tutorials soon. Ooh, do you have kids? No. Do I want kids? Yes. Now, absolutely not. Waiting on that. Um, if you were another person, would you be a friend of yourself? I would. I mean, I would probably think I was crazy, and uh, emotional, but I would see that deep down, that's a really good person. Like. I would love to be her friend. We're going to rock together. So, yeah, I would be my own friend. Do you use sarcasm a lot? I do, and I hate when people use it with me because, like I said, I'm emotional. So, nine times out of ten, someone's sarcastic towards me. I'm like, hmm, but wait, hmm, no. So, something I got to work on. Uh, What's the first thing you notice about people? I think one of my God-given talents or just traits that God gave me is I can always see how a person is like I can read vibes if I can tell that person's negative I know from the jump the person's positive know from the jump so like I can just always pretty much like the spirit of discernment that type thing but I'm not gonna say I have the spirit of discernment but I can kind of read vibes I'm just say I can read vibes uh, how tall are you I am five two and a half I'm knocking at 5'3". I would say 5'3", but then you have 5'3 people who really get offended when you claim 5'3". So, <laughs> I'm not 5'3 yet. Um, how many countries have you visited? 
none outside the United States of America. So, none. Um, ooh, what are some of your favorite YouTubers? Oh, the list is long. Hold on, let me go look. I actually have a lot, so I'm gonna pull them up. Look, let y'all know. And I'm probably tagging them in this so y'all can go check them out too in the description box because look, they lit. Oh my gosh, Alyssa Ashley. She's so freaking gorgeous. I can't muster up the, sh the strength to shave my hair off, but I do these sleek buns and it kind of like, if I look like this, it's like I don't have hair. And I'm like, okay, how would Alyssa Ashley serve, you know? So she's definitely one of my favorite YouTubers. Jayla Corian was the first college vlogger slash beauty vlogger I ever watched. Fell in love with her um, my freshman year. Well, going into my freshman year of college. I love her. Still love her. Yes. Um, Miss Aaliyah J. I watched her in high school. I've been watching her for a long time. To the point where she used to do her own, like, buns with the sleek edges. She taught me how to do my bun. Uh, I love the Pitts twins. Oh, my God. I love the Pitts twins. Like, I was just thinking about them. Like, they are really funny. They are, I wish I had a twin. Like, she, those two make me wish I had a twin. Definitely the Pitts twins. Tierra Walker. I know she lived in Charlotte for a long time. I didn't know that until, like, recently. But I was like, oh, my gosh. If you're, like, so close to here and you're so successful, what is stopping me? I'll wait. But, yeah, definitely. Um, definitely Tierra Walker. Uh, I have a lot. Ashley D. I like her. I love Ashley D. Um, who else? I have a lot. The Sheet Natural. Love her. Uh, Shani Stevens. Because she's like super close to where I live. Definitely. And I one time saw Oh my god. I saw her in the mall. And I was like. Mom. I know her. Well, I don't know her. But I was like. I, she's a YouTuber. I was fangirling and did not speak. I just like awkwardly. And I'm pretty sure she saw me stare. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm absolutely positive she saw me staring and was probably like, you gonna speak? Or, but I couldn't. I was too nervous. Amber Martin. Oh my gosh. Do, 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 do. do, do. <clears throat> I love her. I actually started watching her two years ago. So, yeah. I love her, too. Chrissy J. I like Chrissy J. She's my age. Huge inspiration as well. Jackie Ina. Love her. I have a lot of them. That's just to name a few. But I do have quite a bit of influencers, um, role models. Not really role models, but, like, just influencers. influencers I will say that. Um... Who was your first best friend? Like I said, my mom. My mom was definitely my first best friend. When I didn't have friends, my mom was always there. My mom and my grandma. Oh, and my little cousin. So, yeah, just family. My little family that I do have. Close-knit little family. My immediate family, let's say that. They were my best friends. Um, Scary movie or happy endings? I like both. Like... If I'm watching something that's not scary, I want it to be a happy ending. If I'm watching something that's scary, I obviously want it to be, you know, a scary ending. I don't, yeah, so. Do you have any special talents? I can sell time on a watch. A lot of people can't do that these days. <laughs> and they don't even have the numbers. What? Yes. Whoa, it really doesn't even have the ticks. I've had this watch for like two years, and I didn't even know it didn't have the ticks. Like the little 12, 3, 6, 9. I didn't even know it didn't have that. Wow. That's talent. <laughs> That's talent in this day and age, girl. What? Um, I can say the alphabet backwards. But I learned how to do that on, I think it was a show, When the Bell Rings. It was like a little mini series on Disney Channel. She made a song, Z Y X W V U T. That's how I learned it. But I can say that. Um, I know the alphabet in sign language and, of course, in English. Oh, I'm double jointed. <laughs> so, like, if y'all can see that, I'm extremely double jointed. And almost every part 
of myself. Uh, can I do the pinky still? I can. Hmm. So, um, what's something else? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know if I have any other special talents. Hmm. I think of some, I'll just, you know, type them down there. Um, do you have any siblings? I have a brother, but we don't really talk because he's on my dad's side and we have different moms. So we didn't grow up together, any of that. But I do have a sibling. I have a brother. Um, what are your favorite hobbies? Since uh, I started doing makeup, I definitely will say doing makeup is one of my favorite hobbies. Because I've noticed that even if I do a simple look, my talent increases. So practice does make perfect. I will say that, you know, practice makes perfect. Um, it used to be playing the flute too. I really do like playing the flute. When I do have time, I will play it. Uh, reading. Reading is one of my favorite pastimes. Oh my gosh. I read the Twilight series front to back, all the books, at least four times because I loved them. Read the Hunger Games series. Never read Harry Potter because I wasn't into Harry Potter, but I might read it. But, and especially Wattpad. Oh my gosh. I love Wattpad. I love reading books. So yeah, Wattpad too. Who was your first celebrity crush? Chris Brown. Yes. Who is your favorite actor? I love Gabrielle Union. Um, I really do look up to her. And just black actors, period. Zendaya, she's very inspirational. Just black actors, like I was saying. Because they're motivational. Because I didn't see a lot of black actors growing up. But now in this new era, like, being black is kind of what's in. So, an appropriation of black culture is in. No shade, all shade, all tea. So, yeah. What was your favorite subject in high school? I didn't like any subjects, to be honest. I was just really good in almost everything because I applied myself. But then whenever I realized, hey, you don't even have to apply yourself, I did amazing. I graduated with 4.8 GPA. No bragging, but that just shows, like, I genuinely worked my behind off in high school. Did it pay off in college? No, but I can say, yes, I did. I did pretty good. Um, what's the, what was the first concert you ever attended? Probably for my uh, grad bash at Universal Studios when Trey Songz performed. What is your favorite quote? Um, as of now, because my favorite quote changes probably every two to three years, um, it's man gives the award, God gives the reward. I have to oftentimes... Remind myself that, you know, just because it seems like you're being overlooked by man, like by stuff that people give, doesn't mean that God isn't going to overlook you. God is going to overlook you. He's not going to overlook you. That's the good thing. So just remember, man are given an award. God will reward you. So it's a difference. So, yeah. What is your biggest accomplishment? My biggest accomplishment is definitely graduating high school and nearing my end of my college, undergraduate college career, because a lot of people said that I wouldn't make it this far, and I did. And um, so that's one of them. Another one is me overcoming my depression and suicidal thoughts, because I used to be very, very, very depressed. I used to have a lot of suicidal thoughts. Do I still have depression? Yes. Do I have episodes? Yes. Are they as bad? No. Am I healing? Absolutely. So I'm very proud of myself when it comes to that. What is at the top of your bucket list? I would definitely say before I die, I want to leave my mark on the world in some type of way. Like, And I want to be remembered and known for being someone who helped many and didn't tell a lot at all like i want to be a person who if you hear my name you can be like that was a genuine good soul she gave more than she received and just i want to remain humble at all times i really want to i want to make it so i can help others make it and i want to be able to help others where society and mankind as a whole just fail i want to help people who were failed by the universe not the universe but failed by man just by society we fail people 
the fact that you can have a person driving a 2.5 million dollar car and then in another time zone or in the same time zone you have someone starving and dying from starvation or some form of something it's it's not okay it's not how life was meant to be and i want to be a helpful person or uh, a factor in stopping that in some type of way or at least decreasing that i don't know if i can stop it but i'll try my hardest <laughs> okay and lastly this is just a question that i want to answer so this is for y'all my viewers um the question is why did you start your youtube okay so i fell in love with youtube at a very very young age when youtube didn't have ads <laughs> when you had to become a partner and not set up your whole google adsense and that good junk i don't even know if you had google adsense that you may have but i don't i really don't know but old school classic youtube with the tv that youtube the you, the tv icon that's what i mean um and it was a girl i'm not gonna say her name just because i don't know if she want her name out there she um went to my high school and my school in general and she had a, a YouTube channel and she used to do what's in my purse tags and what's in my car tags and get ready with me and stuff like that. And that really inspired me in the seventh grade. I was in seventh grade when I really wanted to start my YouTube. And um, so when I saw that, I was just like, she's inspirational. And she made a video. Oh, I made partner. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I really want to do it. Like doing a youtube was just like oh my gosh i felt like she was famous so and i never talked to her because i was so nervous to talk to her and wrap it up then y'all that is entirely too long and it's still going five minutes later so she inspired me to even do a youtube and i was gonna do it in high school but y'all i was lazy to be honest and then i was gonna start it my senior year but my senior year my house burned down and i lost everything and even till this day i wear stuff that's donated and a lot of people might not know that but yeah i wear stuff that's donated it started again didn't it i know it didn't but yeah um like I was saying, I wear stuff that's donated. Uh, I still help others that went through house fires and all that good stuff. Well, bad stuff, excuse me. And um, so I felt like, and after that, that's really when my depression just skyrocketed. And I didn't see myself making a YouTube. And then I was like, okay, well, I can take a year off, get my mind together, and then start my YouTube in college my freshman year nope didn't do it because i don't know why i didn't do it honestly i think i felt like you had to have oh this fancy camera and a ring light you no, you don't have to have that and i let that hinder me but then my sophomore year came and i was supposed to start fall 16 and i didn't start fall 16 i started spring 17 but i did start my mom got me a 200 hundred dollar camera and it wasn't like a super high-tech vlogging camera but i mean it was nice and it still is nice i'm just not recording on it because it doesn't have a viewfinder so that was the only downfall about it but i finally started and now that i have my youtube i've made a lot of vlogs i've made one challenge one makeup tutorial and now this will be the intro to my channel so i'm excited Y'all, we are Bella B Gang. This channel is for y'all. I'm like, I'm going to do videos that are really helpful. Don't get me wrong. A lot of YouTubers make a lot of helpful videos, but I oftentimes watch videos and then will be like, wait, I have a question, but you didn't answer it. And no one will respond. I'm going to be answering those questions in my videos. I'm really going to be breaking them down and doing all that good stuff. So... This isn't a channel just for me. It's a channel for y'all. This is our channel. We are Bella B Gang. We are the Bella B Gang. So, 
that's definitely why I made my YouTube. So, I'm excited. This should be up tomorrow, which is Thursday. So, yeah. But, thank y'all for watching. Y'all just gotta wait to see what's in store on this channel. I promise you it's about to be on and sh popping. Now that I have everything that I ever needed for YouTube, I'm definitely gonna be throwing out that material, that content, and it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be good content. It's not gonna be half, you know what, content. So, I'm excited. But I love y'all, and I hope y'all like what you see. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to me. New videos and uploads weekly. So, yeah. Love y'all. Hey, mama told me hey, not to sell work. Mama, 17, 5, same color t shirt, white. Okay. They knew I was trying to record a video. They knew I was. <laughs> they, they set me up. And they still do. Y'all finished or y'all done? They not finished or done. They just begun. <laughs> what? This train is disrespectful. We need to put some respect on Bella B name. Shoot.